The Ministry of Water and Environment has started demarcation of all wetlands in Amuru district as a move aimed at protecting the environment and restoration of the water catchment areas. The demarcation process, which is expected to take more than two weeks, will see a number of wetlands, especially those in urban locations, demarcated. According to a report by Ramsar Secretariat in 2018, the world is losing wetlands three times faster than forests worldwide. This has been the pattern in various parts of the country. Urbanization has contributed to Uganda's drastic reduction of wetland area cover from 15.6% in 1994 to just about 10% currently. As a result, the Ministry of Water and Environment has started planting markstones on all wetlands across the country. The team is currently in Amuro district where all the wetlands had not yet been demarcated. According to Silvano Afae, the regional wetlands coordinator in northern Uganda, the move is aimed at regulating human activities on the wetlands among others. But once we put the pillars here, it doesn't mean we have, we have grabbed this section of the land. This is mainly to show people that the boundary stops at this. Here they can, down there, you cannot allow them to do the construction. We regulate the activities down there. Similar activities have been done in other districts like Gulu, Lira and Dokolo in northern Uganda, while in West Nile, demarcations were done in Arua, Maracha, Moyo and Nebi districts. Some of the district authorities believe the demarcation will simplify the regulation of human activities in the wetlands. So we are going to regulate the use, utilization of the wetland. And the uh, Department of Water and Environment in Amuru will be the pivotal point in implementing it. So since we are now putting the markstone, it is advantageous. will also allow me the regulation will be easier. However, the team from the ministry met some challenges when the process was halted for close to an hour after some of the locals raised concerns. Well, but Tunka and no, no. It took the intervention of some of the authorities and technocrats to mediate with aggrieved landowners before an agreement was reached and the demarcation continued. Silvano Afaye believes some of the concerns from the landowners are clear indications of low knowledge on the process of wetland demarcations. The, the, the complaints are largely due to, uh, to the unclear. People don't understand where the boundary of the wetland exactly stops. Because they don't understand where the boundary stops, they tend to assume the ownership of the wetland area. With increase in unregulated human activities in these wetlands, some of the environmental experts believe the nearby communities may face prolonged drought, contaminated water sources, and high temperatures in the near future. Nelson Omoya, NTV.